want to make this To make this cool cartoonish looking 3D animation in Blender, watch the whole video because I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get these amazing looking 3D character models, thousands of clothes, animations, and 3D environments, all of those for completely free, no BS. <laughs> also, I'm going to explain each and everything while I go through every step. So please, like and subscribe and comment what type of video you want to see next. Now, let's jump right into it. First, let's make the custom character you saw at the start of the video. To do that, open Google and search for 3D character model. Then click on the first link. Here, you will find some pretty good free 3D character models. Cool! For this video, I will use this one. I will put the link down below in the description for your convenience, but you can choose any of these characters. After selecting your desired character, you have to download it. After downloading, go to Downloads, then right-click and click on Extract Here. Alright, now for the clothes, we need to download software called Genie. I will also give its link down below in the description. It's a completely free software where you will be able to add super cool clothes to your character. <laughs> you will get more than 10,000 free items from here, so you definitely want to try this. After opening the software, click on Create New Style and then select Designer Mode because that's where we will be able to design our character's clothes. Now we need to import our character that we downloaded earlier. To do that, simply hover your mouse over this icon and click it. Then click Open, Avatar, Downloads, and here you will see the extracted file. Open it and select this OBJ file. Click Yes. Now you have to specify the character's size in order for this software to work properly. But if you leave these values as they are, most of the time the character will be very small. <laughs> To fix this issue, click on this icon again, click Open, Avatar, Downloads, then select this OBJ file again. Now let's change the unit from millimeters to meters. For this, we're going to change this value to 20%. A quick note, these values won't be the same for all the characters, they will differ from character to character. Okay, so once the character is imported, go to this section right here. Click on Add. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> Genie already has some default clothes where you can select any of these and Genie will automatically put that clothing on your character perfectly. You don't have to do anything. You can also change the colors of your clothes by going to this section. If you want to change the fabric of the clothes, you can also do that by clicking this plus icon. But do you want more free stuff? <laughs> I got you. Click on this icon over here, which says market. It will take you to this website. Select the paid option to free and boom. As you can see, there are more than 13,000 free items in here. From here, you can find tons of free, super cool t-shirts, joggers, hoodies, fabrics, and other items like hats, caps, shoes, and much more. This is unbelievable. <laughs> to get one of these items, click on Add to Cart, then click on Add to Cart again. Then tap this icon. Check this box right here and click on Place Order. It will be automatically added to your Genie software. You don't have to download any of these items. Go back to Genie event, then click on Add, go to Purchase, and you will see all of your purchased items here. You can also lengthen or shorten the sleeves, sides, or the bottom of the clothes by simply selecting this tool and manually dragging the part of the clothes you want to change. You can also fix the position of the clothes by clicking Simulation. Your mouse cursor will change to a hand. Then you can drag and manually fix the position of the clothes. Cool! Once you are done and ready to export the model, tap on this camera icon and then click on Export FBX, then click Upload. The file will be saved in your desktop's downloads folder. There it is. 
I'm going to change its name to character.fbx so that I can find it easily afterward. After exporting the FBX file, go to the Mixamo website, which is owned by Adobe. I will also put its link in the description. Mixamo is an online tool, so you don't have to install it on your computer. It offers tons of free characters and animations for you to use. But for this video, I will use my own custom-made character, therefore I will tap Upload Character and select the FBX file, which I exported from Genie. It will take some time to upload the character. Once it's done, hit Next, and then you have to put the circles in the right places of your character, or else the animation won't work properly. There's a picture on the right that shows an example. Then hit Next. It will again take a few seconds to load, but when it's done, hit Next and Next again. Now you can choose any of these animations. All of these are completely free. Also, there's a search bar from where you can search for the animations you want. For example, walk, run, fight, or even dance. At the beginning of the video, you saw the character typing in the 3D animation. For that animation, simply search typing and you will find it. Then click on the animation you want, and then click on download right here. Make sure it says with skin and set the FPS value to your liking. I'm going to choose 30 FPS, but you can definitely go higher like 60 FPS for smoother animation. Keep in mind, the file size will be bigger. <laughs> All right, now let's make the environment. To do that, let's go back to Google Chrome again, then search for 3D background models. Click on the first link. From this Sketchfab website, you will find a lot of free 3D resources, like buildings, cars, furniture, or even a whole city. For this tutorial, I need a bedroom background. Make sure you check the downloadable box to get the ones which you can download because some models can't be downloaded. Also, a quick note, some of the items on this website are not free, but I promise you will find a lot of good ones for free. You just have to take your time to search. Okay, so I'm gonna search for bedroom. You can already see some excellent options to choose from. Click this, you will see Download 3D Model down here for the ones that are free. Download it and make sure you select the FBX format because this is one of the best formats for 3D models. After the download is finished, you need to extract the folder. Okay, now lastly, we need to download another thing called Blender Kit. But it's not software, it's actually an add-on that we can directly add in Blender. Blender Kit add-on lets you download all 3D resources like grass, sky, roads, lamps, paintings, and some really cool furniture directly from Blender without having to leave. To download this add-on, search for Blender Kit, click on Download Blender Kit for free, and here you will see Download Blender Kit. But this time, after the download finishes, don't extract the file on your desktop. Instead, open up Blender, then click Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. At the very top right, you will see this icon. Click it, then click Install from Disk. A new window will pop up. Simply go to Downloads, and in here you will find the Blender Kit zip file. Click on it, then click Install from Disk. It will pop up in your Add-ons menu. Make sure to check this box in order for this tool to work. This tool is super useful for adding extra detail to your project. We're going to use this add-on just in a bit. For now, go into Blender Viewport and make sure you delete everything by pressing A, then Delete on your keyboard. This will delete everything from your viewport. Now, let's put everything we downloaded earlier into Blender. To do that, go to Downloads and drag all of the things into Blender one by one. After you are done, organize everything as you like. Make sure your character is sitting on the chair properly so it doesn't look unrealistic. To move any object in Blender, select the object first, then press G on your keyboard and move the object by moving the mouse. Or you can select the object and go to the transform menu on the right side of your screen. Here you can manually move your object in a specific direction. If you want to rotate your object, you can do that by changing these values. You can also change the size of your object by pressing S on your keyboard and moving the mouse. I will build another room beside this room. 
we still need some extra resources. Now, Blender Kit will come in handy. To access Blender Kit, press N on your keyboard or click on this icon. This menu will slide and you can find Blender Kit over here. Simply click on it. Right after opening Blender Kit, you will see a search bar. From here, you can search for the items you need. In my case, I will search Window. As soon as I hit Enter, we will start seeing the results of Windows. You'll notice that free and paid ones are mixed together. To make the free ones appear first, go to the Blender Kit menu, expand this section, and check Free first. Now you will see all the free ones separated from the paid ones. I really like this one. To get this, hold left on your mouse, then drag it wherever you want to put it. The object will download first, and once it's done, it is ready to use. I will make a square-shaped hole in this wall for this window to fit in. I can do that by putting another cube on this wall. I'm going to change the scale of this cube a little. After that, make sure you select the wall first, then go to Modifiers, click on Add Modifier, go to Generate, then select Boolean. Make sure Difference is selected, and in the Object section, click on this dropper icon. My mouse cursor will change, then click on the new cube we just created. You can see the cube's name in the object section. Now hit apply and delete the cube by pressing delete on your keyboard. Boom, our hole is created. Now I'm gonna set the window in this hole. Now I will put some other stuff in here by using the Blender Kit add-on again to add some extra spice. Notice that I didn't have to leave Blender to get all these items because that's what the Blender Kit add-on is all about. Looking pretty good already, but not realistic enough. Something is missing. Keep in mind, to transform your 3D animation from this to this, you need to apply these three steps. Number one, texture. Number two, detail. Number three, lighting. We don't need texture for this 3D animation. Detail is something like adding extra stuff. If you look at this case here, you will understand what I mean. All the extra stuff that I added here, like this couch, these paintings, carpet, tree, road, are all details. Now let's talk about lighting. Adding proper lighting to your 3D animation will make the biggest difference and take your animation to the next level. To add lighting, press Shift-A on your keyboard and you will find four different lighting options to choose from. For this animation, I will use area and point lighting. You will see there's a monitor over here. Monitors produce very soft light. So to add that soft light on the screen, I'm gonna add this area light, then fix the light's position and size. I will also add more lights here. Finally, to make this moving light animation, which represents a moving car, we need to add keyframes in our timeline. Keyframes let us animate an object by changing its location, rotation, and scale. Select the light you want to animate, then I will put a keyframe at frame 110 because that's when I want the light to start moving. To put a keyframe, simply hover your cursor over location and press I on your keyboard. The yellow color indicates that we put a keyframe here. Then I will move to frame 250, change the light's location, and put a keyframe here once again. This means that I want the light to stop moving at frame 250. Once the light animation is done, add a camera by pressing Shift plus A on your keyboard, then fix its position. I want the camera to move too. So select the camera, then put a keyframe at frame 9, move to frame 134, change the camera's location, and put a keyframe at this frame again. Everything is done, now it's time to render the whole animation. Simply head over to the render menu. By default, the render engine will be in EEV mode. It's fast and good for previews and stylized scenes, but if you want real-world lighting and shadows, then choose Cycles because it produces realistic results but takes much longer to render compared to EEV. I will sacrifice realism for speed, so I will choose EEV. 
go to Output Properties, and here you can change the video resolution. You can also change the frame rate. Value 30 will work just fine, but if you want more smoothness, change to value 50 or 60. I want my animation to stop at frame 250. Scroll down a little. If you want your file to save in a different location, click this icon. Click Accept after specifying the location. Change the file format from PNG to FFmpeg video. After that, expand encoding, then change the container to MPEG4 and change the output quality to high quality. After setting all these settings, look at the very top left of your screen and you will find an option called Render. Click on it, then Render Animation, and it will start rendering. After the render is finished, you can add some sound effects to make your animation feel more real. Open CapCut, import your animation to the timeline, for the sound effects, go to Mix Kit website and change this to Sound Effects. You'll find a bunch of copyright free sound effects here. Download the ones you like by clicking this icon. Then import them into CapCut, put the sound effects in place, export the video, and you are all done. <laughs> Whew, that felt like a whole course. <laughs> This whole video took me a lot longer than I thought it would to make. I really hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to my channel. That will really motivate me to make more informative content like this. That's all for today. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.